What's up, everybody? Uh, this is a video that I was not really looking forward to doing, uh, but I figured, you know, if I'm doing videos uh, when cards are going up, I, you know, I, o I only owe it to everybody that's watching to do, car you know, videos when cards are going down and do the analysis. Um, so what I did was I looked at, um, just to kind of talk about the baseball card hobby or the sports card hobby, I should say. Um, from what I've seen, uh, mid-February is kind of when we hit the peak and cards are just going up and up and up from like 2020, you know, March 2020 to February uh, 15th-ish um, is when we really hit a peak. And then ever since uh, mid-February till, you know, today, uh, mid-June, uh, cards have really uh, hit, you know, a major correction, <laughs> I guess is a way of saying it. Um, I looked at, from my collection, I can look at my collection as a whole uh, on VintageCardPrices.com. Uh, my collection is down about 16% um, from the, the peak uh, back in mid-February, which is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, it took, I, was, I wasn't even looking. I was like, I don't even want to know. But you know what? The cool thing is, you know, as a buyer... It's a great, uh, right now is a great, uh, finally, we have a buyer's market. It was a seller's market for almost an entire year. So in that sense, uh, it's a fantastic time as a buyer. Uh, hopefully, if you guys were looking to sell, you took that opportunity. You had about a year. To, and I sold some cards um, on eBay as well, some, some cards I just didn't need. Um, but a great opportunity if you're looking to buy. But um, anyway... Uh, what I did was I, I looked at the last three months. Um, I didn't even include February, <laughs> which was a, a it was a major pullback in February. But I looked at, you know, uh, it was just easier to do it this way. I looked at uh, from March 15th to June 15th, a three-month period, uh, 10 cards that have gone up and 10 cards that have gone down. Um, and so uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, get started. And um, starting off at number 10, is uh, this 2017 update, Cody Bellinger in a PSA 10. Uh, Bellinger has had a tough uh, year this year. Um, it's not surprising that his cards his cards are down. Um, this back in uh, mid-March was going for about 220. Uh, it's down to 132.50, so that is a 40% decrease. And it's at number 10. So, and that, again, that doesn't even include uh, February. Uh, so almost, um, you know, half its worth, you know, from 220 to 130 <laughs> is, uh, and of course, it's understandable. Bellinger has had a tough year, only one home run the entire year. Um, at number 10, um, cards going up, though. Um, so I did, it, was, it wasn't easy, but I did find some cards that were going up uh, over the last three months. So uh, Acuna, um, this is a Ronald Acuna holiday um, in mid-March. This was going for about $76. Uh, it is now going for about $85, so an 11% increase there. Acuna is having a really nice year, 18 home runs, 12 stolen bases, uh, So and uh, definitely in line to possibly win a National League MVP. At number nine uh, is uh, everyone's favorite, uh, the LeBron James, uh, the 2003 Topps LeBron James. Uh, a video uh, of going up and going down just isn't the same without Le this. This card is always on the list. Uh, this has gone from an $8,200 card to a $4,900 card. That is a 40% decrease in three months. Uh, so obviously, uh, maybe a card I should have sold. <laughs> But you guys know, uh, as as a collector, you know I'm, I'm more uh, holding it for the long term. Um, I do think that this is a, a great opportunity to buy LeBron's cards. Um, he got eliminated from the playoffs. Uh, some people are probably trying to get rid of it from from that. Um, you know, a lot of people might have thought the Lakers might win a championship this year. So our, you know, the the card has come down. Of course, he's getting involved in politics and he's you know storming off the court. That probably doesn't help his card values. Uh, but his card is down forty one percent. Basketball cards, just in general, I'm you know my collection, like I said, is down sixteen percent. But if I had a, like a a huge piece of it in basketball, it probably would be down 30 to 40%, to be honest with you. Of course, a lot of these cards are way up from where they were, you know, um, in early 2020. So it depends on when you, you know, got in. 
Um, cards going up, unfortunately, you know, it was hard to find cards going up, um, but I had to put a card going up. Jose Altuve is up. Uh, this card in a PSA 10, his rookie from 2011 Tops Update, uh, uh, was $68 in mid-March, is now $89. That is a 31% increase. Altuve having a good year, 12, 12 home runs, 45 runs scored, and uh, the Astros are having a, a nice season, so... Uh, he's on the list of going up. Um, this is a card uh, that's going down. This is, a, you know, the theme of what you'll see is, is it's, you know, these are guys um, that were considered during, you know, when cards were going up and up and up, um, all the, the greatest of all time, um, the greats from the 80s uh, and then today um, have really take, you know, really went up a lot and then have been plummeting uh, since then. <laughs> so this one's uh, about a $310 card in uh, February, $166 card uh, uh, now. So you get, that is a 46% decrease on a guy that's been retired and has, you know, unlike maybe LeBron or some of the guys that, you know, Bellinger, like it's not like he's gotten hurt or, you know, has had a bad year or has gotten involved. You know, it's not like, you know, Randy Johnson's been out there doing something differently. Um, but uh, his cards, you know, have w went way up and now they're down to 166. Although I think there was a time when this was like a $30 card. So, um, you know, t take it for what, for what it is. Um, all right. At number, where are we? Number eight uh, for cards going up. Uh, JD Martinez, uh, his card uh, is up 47% from $40 to about $60. Having a really nice year. Unfortunately, the Yankees have been awful. Uh, the Red Sox have been great. The Rays have been great. So it's been a tough year uh, for my Yankees. Um, this card is up 47%, uh, $40 to a $60 card. Uh, he's uh, got 41 RBIs, 44 runs scored, batting 310 this year. So having a really nice year. Uh, for J.D. Martinez. Uh, cards going down uh, at number seven, Juan Soto. So everyone ha uh, knows this card. Pretty much everyone has this card in a PSA 10. I think the pop report is probably around 20,000 at this point. Uh, but his PSA 10, um, this was going for $307.88 back in mid-March. It is now down to 164.45. That's a 47% decrease. Um, he had some injuries, uh, Soto, uh, but he hasn't really done anything, you know, just he hasn't really wowed anybody this year. You know, he's batting 267. He's got eight home runs. He's having an OK year. Um, and I think, you know, people, you know, in order to keep the prices, in order to keep this card at three hundred dollars in a PSA 10, he's got to be, you know, putting up Acuna numbers and or Vlad Guerrero Jr. numbers. Uh, eight home runs at a 267 batting average is just not going to do it. Um, great time to pick this card up if you haven't already. Um, yeah, 47% decrease on the Juan Soto. Uh, card going up, and of course you guys, I'm sure we're expecting to see this card. Uh, 2018 Tops Update, Otani. Uh, this card is up 47% from a $70 card to a $103 card. 17 home runs, 9 stolen bases, has a 2.85 ERA. He's pretty much doing it all with a 1.18 uh whip so uh you know pitching hitting got to be up there with uh top you know favorites to win mvp in the american league so makes sense that his cards are up um for cards going down um barry bond similar to randy johnson uh this card in a psa 10 was going for about 638 bucks uh is now down 48 percent uh to 330 bucks uh, so 48% decrease on the Barry Bonds rookie. Uh, again, just one of those cards that went way up um, over the course of 2020 and now is uh, facing, you know, a big market correction. You know, as people kind of go, you know, cards can't go up forever, right, guys? Um, all right, and number six, uh, to no surprise, uh, I mentioned him a little bit ago, the Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie uh, tops chrome and a PSA 10. Uh, this card is up 53%. Uh, was going for about $152 in March, uh, now up to $234 in June. Uh, this guy has been just lighting it up. 22 home runs. He hit another home run last night. Uh, 55 plus RBIs. I know he had a couple more RBIs last night. Um, 
50 runs scored. Uh, he's batting uh, 345 or something like that. So fantastic year for Vlad. Um, so this card's up 47%. By the way, here's the, uh, the Sepia version, uh, both in a PSA 10. So beautiful cards there. Uh, cards going down. Um, where are we at? We're at number five. Um, Roger Clemens, uh, similar to Randy Johnson and Barry Bonds. Um, no particular reason why this card would go down, but it's gone from a $3,400 card to a $1,700 card. That is a 50% decrease. It's basically more than cut in half in three months. Uh, so if you guys had any interest in this card, Maybe now's the time to get it at $1,700. Still really expensive for a PSA 10, um, but definitely has come down a lot uh, over the last three months. Cards going up. Um, Chris Bryant uh, having a really nice year, kind of a resurgence with the Cubs. Uh, this card has gone from a $294 card to a $500 card. That is a 71% increase. Uh, Bryant's got 13 home runs, 40 runs scored, 39 RBIs, so... Pretty nice start to the season for Bryant. You know, maybe he's uh, healthy once again and can, you know, start to put up good numbers. Uh, this one hurts. Uh, the Ken Griffey Tiffany. Um, now, it's still way up from where it was at one point, um, but uh, this is down 52% in just three months. Uh, this was going uh, for about $8,000 um, back in mid-March, at least that's what the data says. Um, I don't know if anybody was really paying $8,000 for this card, but, uh, and now it's down to $3,800. You can get this in a PSA 10 for $3,800. That is a 52% decrease on Ken Griffey Jr. Like I said, guys, a great buying opportunity now. Um, if, if you want to get in on some of these cards that have come down, um, you want to uh, be aggressive when everyone is afraid and uh, afraid when everyone else is aggressive. I think some, there's some sort of term like that. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, next up is uh, Babe Ruth, <laughs> 1933 Gaudi. This is a card that's way up. This, uh, this is one of those cards that just didn't get the bump uh, because there's just not you know, many sold of you know, the 33 Gaudi Ruth card. Um, this card is up 72% um, just from the previous sale that I had. Uh, so it's going for a lot of money <laughs> now. Uh, I, you know, I think people are just kind of going, oh, well, who's, you know, they got the, everyone's paying big money for Jordan and Gretzky. And they're like, well, who's the goat in, uh, in baseball? And, um, you know, most people, including me, believe that Babe Ruth's the greatest of all time in baseball. So uh, it just makes sense that his vintage cards uh, would go up. Uh, and this card is up 72% from the previous sale that I had uh, of this in a PSA 3. Uh, cards going down, and this one probably hurts more than anything. Um, this is a card that, like, right after I bought it, just went came crashing down. Uh, it's down 54%. And you guys know I, you know, um, am a long-term holder. Obviously, this is the Lou Alcindor 1969 Tops. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, rookie, uh, down 54%. Um, you guys know that I, I have no intention of selling this. You know, you know, I, obviously it's going to be in my collection for a long time. I guess what hurts about it is, <clears throat> you know, I could have, you know, basically set, saved myself a lot of money if I had just waited uh, a month or two, I guess. My thought was like, you know, I understand like why some of the, I, I kind of predicted that the more modern cards would take a hit. I did not predict that the vintage cards would take as big of a hit as they have. Um, I did not think that this card would go down 54% in three months. Uh, I just didn't think that that would be possible. So, <clears throat> and again, in the grand scheme of things, this card will go back up, you know, um, so I'll, I'll probably end up selling it someday in the future for more, more than I bought it for. But I guess what hurts about it is short term, I could have saved myself a lot of money uh, by just waiting <laughs> just a couple of weeks and I would have saved myself a lot of money. Uh, so that's at number three. Uh, cards going up uh, during that period. I've talked about this card a lot, the Hulk Hogan. Uh, this card um, is up, uh, let's see, 98% uh, in a very short period. It's basically doubled uh, from a $1,500 card to a $3,000 card. Um, there hasn't been a sale of this card in a PSA 6 in uh, a couple of weeks so it may be you know i don't know if it'll still would sell for around three thousand dollars but as of 
um, the last time I checked, this card has basically doubled uh, from the sales back in March. <clears throat> At number two <clears throat> is a uh, a card that doesn't go for much, but um, you guys know, in terms of how I, by the way, how I uh, take a look at this, I have about 400 cards in my collection that I track. Um, and I just look at percentage increase or decrease. And then, you know, there's, of course, all these cards in the middle. And then there's these outliers at the top 10 and that's in the bottom 10. And um, even though this is only a $15 card, um, the decrease was notable <clears throat> to the point that it actually got on my list. So this was selling for $33.67 in a PSA 9 uh, back in March uh, and is now going for $14.86 in uh june um so this card has gone down 56 percent uh luis robert um <clears throat> you know he started off pretty well batting 316 stole a couple of bases but has been injured all year uh maybe a great time to buy him as you know if his card's going for 15 dollars. that's barely uh, you know that barely covers the grading fee <laughs> so and uh, nowadays with psa it definitely it definitely wouldn't cover the grading fee so i unfortunately for me uh, I've got four PSA 9s uh, that are worth $15 a piece. <laughs> so 56% uh, decrease on the uh, Luis Roberts. Um, at number two, another Otani card, the Mega. I actually gave away this card as part of a giveaway at one point, um, which uh, ugh, hurts now because this card's gone way up. Uh, this has gone from a $320 card. It's now going... Uh, in a PSA 10 for 665 bucks. Uh, that is a 108% increase uh, over a uh, three month period. So uh, pretty awesome. Although I, I I think I only spent like $100 a piece on the two cards and got them both graded. They both came back as a PSA 10. So uh, either way, I'm up even after giving away one of the cards. Um, at number one, and this is so sad that this is the number one card that's gone down over the last three months. Uh, the 93 Stadium Club, Derek Jeter Mur Murphy. Um, this card has gone from a $2,200 card to a $730 card. A 67% decrease on Derek Jeter. I mean, talk about random. Um, I don't know if he, he never really had his Hall of Fame ceremony. So I wonder if that'll... Uh, when that happens, if there'll be any type of uptick, and it, it, probably not, um, it might have already happened for all I, I mean, I don't even, I, I, you know, it doesn't even matter at this point. But um, Jeter uh, down sixty seven percent. It's funny because there was one guy in the comments that that mentioned this card and was like, "You got to sell, 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 sell." Which I was like, "Why would I?" You know, if you would have told me when the card was worth. <laughs> 2200 to sell then i would have you know would be would have been dumb to not follow your advice but now that it's down to you know 700 dollar plus why would i sell now like now would be you know for those of you that you know if you've learned anything from my channel like please learn that don't sell when the card's down sell when the card's up like sell like if you own any of the cards that i've mentioned as cards going up those are the cards like sell Otani, sell Vlad, sell Chris Bryant, sell JD Martinez and Jose Altuve. Don't sell Derek Jeter now. Like that would be a terrible idea uh, because this card will go back up. It will <laughs> it's just, you know, just a matter of time. Um, but yeah, down 67%. Um, and then the number one card going up, um, <clears throat> speaking of cards that I probably should sell, uh, Jacob deGrom, um, PSA 10, uh, this card is way up. I don't even have the data to track on it, but this card in a gold, and this isn't even like the regular, you know, uh, tops gold. This is the rookie debut in a gold is going, um, numbered, let's see, number to 250 going for almost $1,800 now. Uh, but you know, it makes DeGrom is just, DeGrom is on another level. I mean, we're going to be talking about DeGrom, um, years from now as being the greatest of, you know, one of the greats of all time. I mean, his ERA this year is 0 0.56. Uh, I was reading uh, recently that he has given, uh, um, he has driven in more runs <laughs> than he has given up, uh, earned runs, uh, which is, it's insane. I mean, the guy's batting 400 and he's like, you know, that's, it's one thing if Otani's doing something like that, but he, Otani plays on days, you know, where he's a DH. 
Jacob deGrom only uh, bats when he's also a pitcher. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is incredible that he has more RBIs uh, than he's given up earned runs. That I mean, that's insane. 0 0.56 ERA on Jacob deGrom. And there's talks about him winning National League MVP, um, which would be funny because uh, Otani is in line to possibly win the American League MVP and DeGrom is in line to possibly win the National League MVP. And I would venture to guess that might be the only time, you know, if that were to happen, that would be the only time in history that a pitcher won the MVP in the American League and the National League. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's probably has never happened before. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, is, is now a, a great time to buy? Are you guys still waiting for cards to come down? I have my eye... Uh, in particular on a card, we'll see if I get it because it's come down so much and it's not even a card that I really want, but it's just come down so much that I'm just like, I, it's almost become absurd how much it's come down that I'm like, maybe I should just get it. So um, let me know what you guys think, um, your thoughts, questions, concerns, <laughs> appreciate everything. Thanks for watching guys. I will talk to you later. Peace.